from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. A good Friday evening to all of you. I'm Matt Honig with your CNET forecast. Now we're doing a bit of a different CNET forecast today. Behind me is the set of College Game Day, which will air tomorrow morning on TV. But I want to talk about the weather and how it will impact your day tomorrow. Of course, a giant football day, and we'll detail all of that coming up in the forecast. But for this evening, we still have some cloud cover hanging around across the region. It will gradually clear as we head towards sunset, and temperatures right now in the middle 60s, they'll fall back a little bit to around 60. Tonight, skies completely clear out, and temperatures will really start to fall. So that's where I want to start with this forecast. Tomorrow morning, waking up to get in line for game day, it'll be a chilly one. Bring the sweatshirt or jacket with you. We'll have temperatures at 6 a.m. right around 50 degrees. It warms up some for the beginning of the show, and that's when the sun will come out, so it'll start to feel pretty nice, up to around 54 degrees at 9 a.m. And then at noon, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, and it'll get closer to that 60 degree mark. After game day, I'm sure many of you are heading to Beaver Stadium to do some tailgating and other pre-game festivities. Temperatures will warm up some into the middle 60s, and again, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, but no precipitation to worry about whatsoever. It should be a very dry day and a very comfortable day for any activities you may have during the daytime hours. And then, of course, kickoff at 7.30 tomorrow. We're expecting a few clouds, but it'll be completely dry again, and temperatures starting off in the upper 50s. Those temperatures will fall into the lower 50s by the end of the game, so make sure you have some sort of jacket or sweatshirt handy because it will start to get very cool, especially towards the latter portion of the game. It stays dry through Sunday and even into Monday, but starting Monday, the first day of October, we'll start to see a noticeable warming trend with high temperatures into the middle 70s, and those will stick with us through the middle of next week. I'm Matt Honig with your Campus Weather Service forecast. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your evening.